Over the past 17 years, it's just got worse and worse. Selwyn Lucas is a painter and decorator, but his job is being made increasingly difficult by this, an uncontrollable tremor in his right hand. The shaking is caused by a mistiming of the electrical signals, the commands sent from the brain to the muscles in the hand. One million people in the UK suffer from tremors. The last 15, 17 years, it's gradually got worse to the extent I can't use it. I've got to use my left hand. Early morning at St Mary's Hospital in London and Selwyn is being prepared for deep brain surgery. But this razor is the only blade that will be used today. This frame will ensure his head is kept completely still during surgery. Once it is placed inside this machine, the first of its kind in the UK, which operates using sound waves. It works like this. The device has more than a thousand ultrasound beams. When focused on a single point, they generate enough heat to destroy tissue. The target is a tiny point at the base of the brain, which is causing the faulty signals which trigger the tremors. 697 watts, 13 seconds, 9,000 joules. This is precision medicine. The team constantly monitor MRI scans and gradually increase the energy of the sound beams. Selwyn's wife is there to reassure him. I've witnessed quite a lot of brain surgery and it is brutal and bloody, drilling through the skull and cutting through tissue. The contrast here is astonishing. There are no scalpels, it's all done with sound waves and the patient is awake throughout. And the result, remarkable. The tremors have gone, his right hand is steady and this is a permanent fix. Yeah. Doctors believe ultrasound surgery could treat other conditions. It could help involuntary movements in Parkinson's and it could help tremor in multiple sclerosis as well as other neurological conditions emanating from the brain. So it has a big future? It has an enormous future. Seven, six, five. This was Selwyn four, before three, treatment two, one. and after. It avoids the risks associated with conventional brain surgery, and recovery is immediate. You've got a big smile on your face, Selwyn. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be brilliant if I can pick someone up with a hand and know it's not going to spill everywhere. Selwyn's treatment is part of an international trial. Once that's completed next year, there's likely to be huge demand for this pioneering surgery. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.